Well, the race is on at the Royal BC Museum and Archives to preserve a unique and colorful element of our history. Hundreds of episodes of the iconic television show Webster have been recorded on videotape, but those tapes are quickly deteriorating. Stacey Ross tells us now why it's vital to save these images on today's episode of This Week in History. Jack Webster, one of the most iconic of Canadian broadcasters. You want a chance to say your piece about what you regard as an invasion of your land. At the Royal BC Museum Archives, the race is on to preserve some of his best work. Why are you so chubby when you are a famous nutritional expert? He always asks the tough questions. Do you think Skelly's doing any kind of a job at all? Or is he bound to fall on his face? He felt that his job was to hold politicians accountable to um, the people that they serve. They can't sell the lumber we produce now. You're not going to give them that much anyway. But Webster was on the air from 1978 to 1987, and all 1,150 episodes were recorded on three-quarter inch magnetic videotapes. And all magnetic media dies over time. These are at the end of their lifespan, and soon all the images and sounds will be lost and inaccessible. The tapes can no longer be played because you can't find a machine to play it. So even if you have tapes in perfect condition, you may not be able to play it and see the content. Nevertheless. So bit by bit, 350 episodes, conversations, controversies and characters are being shipped off to a lab and digitized. As a legacy. They speak very much to the 80s. People are mostly used to how bright and sharp all of the images they see on television are. And they're, they're older and that's just the way it is. But they look good. So we got the lineup sheets. Why is this kind of preservation important? They go on to talk about secondhand smoke. Because some of the issues relevant then are equally as relevant today. Grace McCarthy, he asked her point blank, do teachers have the right to strike? <gasps> really? Yep, he asked her and she answers. Should she school teachers have the right to strike? I don't believe that school teachers should have the right to strike. We're preserving this for future generations and whenever I mention Jack Webster's name, people get really excited. We are making progress, but a cure has not yet been found. A cure found. has not been found. Jack Webster died in 1999, but at least some of his considerable legacy has been preserved and will be remembered at the Royal BC Museum and Archives as part of our history. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.